We are ending the 2017 Anzac series short, and so today we'll be looking at coins number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 of the 2017 Anzac Our Legends coin set. Hello everyone, this is the Australian Coin Collector and welcome to my channel. If you are interested in coin collecting, I would like to encourage you to like and subscribe. Now, we are ending the 2017 Anzac Our Legends coin set series short. This is because I realised that this was not uh, a very popular series compared to my other series and videos. If you look at all my videos, six of the eight videos with the least views are from this series. Now, I only want to be putting out the best videos for you guys. For example, some of you have been asking for noodling and cornmeal hunting videos, and so that is what will be coming soon. To make sure that I'm getting better quality videos out, I'll be putting, uh, I'll be pulling back, and now I'll be posting once again twice a week on Wednesday and Saturday at 7am Australian Eastern Standard Time. Anyway, since it's clear that some of you aren't enjoying this series as much, I've decided that I would end this series short. For all of you who want to learn about the rest of the coins from this set, don't worry, I'll be looking for uh, at the last 8 coins in this set in the rest of the video, so I'm sorry if this video is a little long. Anyway, let's get into it. So we'll be looking at two 25 cent coins and six 20 cent coins one by one in the order that they were released. These two 25 cent coins are composed of copper plated steel, have a weight of 11 grams, diameter of 29 millimeters, and a thickness of two millimeters. These six 20 cent coins are made of copper nickel, have a weight of 11.31 grams, have a diameter of 28.52 millimeters and a thickness of 2.5 millimeters. If every coin here has the IRB effigy of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and they are all legal tender even though they are uncirculated card of coins which means you can go to the store and spend these though you probably wouldn't want to because they're worth uh, a lot more than their face value. Let's start with queen number 7 here, the 25 cent distinguished flying cross. This coin was released on April the 15th. On the reverse, you can see a picture of the distinguished flying cross. On the front of the card, there is a photograph of the distinguished flying cross of the real medal. And on the front, there's a paragraph giving you some background info on the medal. The Distinguished Flying Cross was awarded to British and Commonwealth Airmen for acts of valour, courage and devotion to duty while flying on active operations during wartime. The award was established in 1918 shortly after the formation of the Royal Air Force and was bestowed on recipients for service in the First and Second World Wars, Korea and Vietnam. Then on the back it has some information on squadron leader Edward Lister Efold, who was uh, a man that actually got this award. Squadron leader Edward Lister Efold was the most decorated Royal Australian Air Force navigator of the Second World War. He enlisted in 1940 and was commissioned as an air observer, then served with the Royal Air Force's Bomber Command in England. Gaining a reputation as a skilled navigator and bomber aimer, he took part in scores of operations in Manchester's, Lancaster's and Mosquitoes over Nazi-occupied Europe. He was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross DFC after one particularly hazardous low-level daylight raid on a diesel plant, from which only five of the 12 participating Lancaster bombers made it back to England. Checking up, promo uh, clopping up, clocking up promotions, he then joined the elite Pathfinder force, guiding heavy bombers in a mosquito. He was mentioned in dispatches, earning a bar to his DFC and, re and received the Distinguished Service Cross ending the war as a, as a group navigation officer. This coin has a mintage of 261,702 and is worth $2 to $4.50 carded, although some are selling for a little higher. Next is coin number eight, the 25 cent medal of gallantry, uh, for gallantry. 
This coin was released on April the, uh, the 16th. On the reverse, you can see a picture of the Medal of Gallantry. And on the front of the card, there's a picture of the real medal. On the front, um, there's just a paragraph that tells you background info, like the last one. The Medal for Gallantry is awarded to members of the Australian Defence Force for gallant acts under hazardous conditions in operational conflicts, including, including Afghanistan, Iraq, Rwanda and Vietnam. Introduced in 1991, it is one of the top three gallantry decorations in the Australian Honor System. This medal has been presented 66 times, including to two recipients of the Victoria Cross for Australia, Corporal Ben Robert Smith and Corporal Cameron Beard. Then on the back, it tells you about 2nd Lieutenant Peter Sibri, who received this. 2nd Lieutenant Peter Sibri, from the 1st Battalion Royal Australian Regiment 1 RAR, was retrospectively awarded the Medal for Gallantry for a series of actions in South Vietnam in 1965. Over a period of five months, Sibri proved himself to be an outstanding commander with consistent leadership and courage. Throughout July and August 1965, Sibri's platoon carried out many successful operations against the Viet Cong, including capturing a high-ranking enemy political figure, which led to valuable intelligence for the coalition. On another operation, Sibri's platoon cleared a route down a strategically important road, densely sown with booby traps that have caused a number of casualties to neighbouring co uh, company. And this coin here has a mintage of 261,653, which is just a little bit less than this coin here. And it is worth $2 to $6 card, so it's quite a large range. Now, and to, uh, to ensure this video doesn't take too long, we'll be looking at the rest of the 20 cent coins together. So, these coins are numbers 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. They are released from April se the 17th to 22nd. On the reverse, you can see a picture of each of the medals, and on the card, a picture of the real medals. This here is coin number 9. The 20 cent distinguished service medal it has a uh it has a mintage of 238,744 and is worth about four dollars and fifty cents carded the next coin is coin number 10 the 20 cent victory medal it has a mintage of 238,744 as well and is worth two dollars to four dollars fifty carded Then we have coin number 11, the 20 cent 1939 to 1945 star. It has a mintage of, uh, of 238,744, uh, like the last two, and it's worth $3.50 to $4 carded. Now we have coin number 12, the 20 cent Australian Active Service Medal from 1945 to 1975. This has a mintage of 261,702 um, 261, and is worth $2 to $4.50 card. Next, we have coin number 13, the 20 cent Australian Operation Service Medal. Operation of Service Medal. It has a mintage of 261,702 as well and is worth two dollars to four dollars fifty carded lastly we have coin number 14 the 20 cent australian defense medal it has a mintage of 261,702 like the last two and it's worth two dollars to four dollars fifty as well now you've seen the entire 2017 legends of the anzacs coin set Anyway, that wraps it up for today and this series. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.